Okay, welcome back to the show, guys. It looks like Faye Valentine, actress, has a lot to say. She's got a lot on her mind. She wants to let you guys know. Article says, of course, Cowboy Bebop is already inside a horny male outrage. And it hasn't even premiered yet. What are you even talking about? Ugh. It's crazy and baffles me how these articles and the actress herself apparently always seem to attack men as though it's only men that are criticizing her for her outfit which is not her fault like someone said in the comments section she's not to blame for the article of clothing she's wearing it's most likely the people in charge of the wardrobe the wardrobe crew is in charge of the people of what she's wearing for the show and of course, like I even mentioned before, it's impossible for her to wear the exact same outfit because I'm sure she's be doing a lot of stunts. And <laughs> let's face it, as much as we all love Faye's actual outfit, we, we, it's, we all know it's impossible. But we did say, and a lot of guys that I know and follow, and even women are saying she could have wore something or they could have given her something that was very similar and comfortable to what the actual character was wearing. In fact, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna play you guys a clip of what she had to say. Give me a second. I'm gonna go to the next part of the article. Give me a second. Surprise, surprise! Men of the World Wide Web have mobilized once again. No, not over rapidly worsening climate catastrophe, stagnant wages, the broken healthcare system, or endemic rape culture, but rather over a real issue. The outfit of a female bounty hunter in the live-action adaptation of the beloved anime series Cowboy Bebop. What does one have to do with the others? <laughs> you, oh, you, are you also telling me that we lack the capability to focus on more than one topic at once? We can't focus on multiple things at the same time. So you're telling me this is because there are other issues in the world we can't focus on the entertainment industry? Whoever wrote this article is a douchebag. But... I digress. We'll keep on going, right guys? Let's just keep on going. Netflix released the first look images Monday and the reaction was quite revealing about one character's not revealing outfit. Oh, come on. Like I said, I like how you always target men. If you looked at my other video, go guys, after this is over, go watch the other video. There were women who were criticizing this as well. But of course, it's always easier to attack men because Men are all evil, men are bad, all men must die. You know, that kind of crap. The, this male outrage follows a long, ongoing history of pitchfork wielding men gathering in their town square of choice, be that Twitter or Reddit, and declaring war on any on screen depiction of a female character that doesn't sexually um, gratify them. Uh, <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna ramble, guys. I'm gonna keep on going. And in, in any case, the fictional body hunters, um, Stroking outrage this time around is Faye Valentine portrayed by, by, by Daniela Panetta. Panetta? I'm sorry, I'm butchering her name. I do apologize. In the forthcoming Netflix remake of the popular sci-fi anime. Which, guys, look at this very important key part. Okay? Which also stars Walking Thirst Trap. John Cho as protagonist, Spike Spiegel, and Mustafa Shakir as bounty hunter as jet black so in the same token as she's judging men for sexualizing women which is sexualizing faith valentine the same article she uses to sexualize spike by calling him a walking thirst trap isn't that also kind of sexualizing the character a little bit am i mistaken am I, <laughs> I feel like i feel like i'm i miss something along the way when she was talking her nonsense <laughs> oh lord ah oh, god okay guys before i continue on please if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button subscribe share this episode and support your boy need all of the support i can get but let's continue on with this episode ah in the same token she criticizes men she also sexualizes spike or johnny cho who's playing spike it's not a little bit hypocritical, but just, it's just nothing new when it comes to that side of the internet. Those people on that side who like to judge, but also do the exact same thing they're judging us for. Isn't that insane? 
It goes on to say Panetta as Faye is adorned in stylish but practical attire for an intergalactic bounty hunter who regularly spars with violent outlaws and leaps from planet to planet on the regular, just like her male peers. Good oh god. She she's reasonably dressed for her role, and men of the interwebs are losing their minds over this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And this is where we are, guys. Demonizing men, totally excluding the women who are also criticizing the outfit. Because, you know, I guess women can do no wrong, right? So it's just the men that are wrong about this. And honestly, guys, I'm at a loss for words. I'm going to leave it to you guys. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let's discuss this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm going to sit here and just ponder. Because like I said, I totally agree. So quote me, don't come at me in the comment section, right? I do agree that the exact outfit that Faye wears is a little too excessive. But I do want to say that they could have found something very similar to what she wore in the anime or in the manga to give us in the show. But what I think they tried to do and what they're going to do is make her a lot less sexual to you know, make sure the men don't enjoy. <laughs> and the women, because women enjoy it too. So I'm going to say, to make sure that we, the people, don't enjoy looking at attractive people on our screens. That is what they're doing. It's insanity. It's, I, I'm just baffled by this. What do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Let's discuss this. Uh... Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Your support is greatly appreciated. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Stay hydrated. Be safe. Goodbye.